dealing with some last minute showers, but now it's the heat that awaits us. <laughs> it's the heat that awaits, awaits, and I saw something funny on Twitter. They said, breaking news, it's hot and it's summer. Yeah, exactly. Which is really <laughs> funny, but yeah, it's, it's just going to be hot as we head towards the next several days. We're not talking high heat. We, while we are talking high heat, humidity is going to remain at bay, which is why I don't think any advisories will go on into effect, at least not for tomorrow, but that can change on Wednesday. But right now, the main story remains this tropical depression that's still spinning across New York. State still dumping some rain across hard hit Connecticut, and we have wraparound showers. A few pockets of thunderstorms cannot be ruled out, but this is it tropical depression. Henri still holding on to those tropical characteristics. It's moving at 30, or rather, the wind speeds are at 30 miles an hour, and it's moving very slowly at it. Six miles an hour at the moment, right now. Closer to home, here's what we can expect. So those clouds will fill in. We'll see a few rumbles of thunder, at least the possibility of it, as scattered showers and storms roll through the region. By six o'clock, we should see drier conditions, breaks of sunshine, and notice these temperatures not too bad in the 80s. Here's what you can expect over the next several days, though. It's going to be all about this heat starting tomorrow, Tuesday. We have a limited chance of rain, although I am tracking a chance. It doesn't Look too impressive for the week. And then the tropics are looking quiet at least for the next 48 hours, which is always good news, especially after the type of weekend we just came off of. Precip chances over the next six days look like this, with today holding the top spot. All of that rain that we saw this morning has exited, but scattered showers remain a possibility through the afternoon. By Tuesday, high pressure begins to build, and that's going to stick around through Friday. I'm tracking that isolated chance on Thursday, but then a better shot of thunderstorms arrives as we head towards Saturday, and that's going to be uh, the change maker as far as our pattern is concerned. So here's a look at your seven day. Today, a high of 86 degrees, scattered afternoon thunderstorms, temperatures remaining in the 70s, but we should be drying out, which is really good news as that tropical depression continues to pull away. Away from the northeast. By tomorrow, Tuesday, here comes the heat. We're back on with temps in the 90s. I do suspect that we could see an advisory, a heat advisory, go into effect on Wednesday as temperatures reach their peak. A daytime high of 94 degrees with little to no relief here by Wednesday night as temperatures tumble into the mid 70s. We stay in the 90s through Friday. Take a look at Thursday. An isolated chance, as I mentioned, on Friday. It's still hot, it's still humid. In fact, humidity begins. Begins to ramp up as we head towards Thursday, Friday. And then for the start of the weekend, here comes our another cold front. And this is the one that's probably going to bring that change. We'll see a few showers, temperatures in the 80s. And then Sunday, Sunday looks nice. We'll be right back.